The first major UK solo exhibit for artist Artie Patraruga has just opened in London. The artist uses an explosion of colour to create mythical worlds which challenge cultural identity. Ruger's art also uses alternate realities to critique post-apartheid South Africa and question the notion of a rainbow nation. And he says the response from the UK to his work has been overwhelmingly positive. The British audience somehow feels it because also the British audience is multicultural. I think that most people I spoke to yesterday had accents, you know. And for me, I'm really fascinated by that. And I think that they do get the themes of movement, whether it's forced movement, whether it's voluntary movement, leaving home for better um, opportunities. Ruger is just one of a number of artists from South Africa attracting attention globally. The interest in South African art from abroad is so significant that this sculpture by Western Cape artist Emma Willemse greets many visitors as they walk into this arts fair in London. And many people here believe that South Africa is the arts capital of the African continent. That's largely as a result of more established arts infrastructure. 154 is a leading arts fair dedicated to contemporary African art. Its founder explains why worldwide recognition of South African art has come a long way over recent years. The opening of the Zeitz Mocha, uh, of uh, the Norval Foundation, you have a Nairox sculpture park, you have things in South Africa that you have nowhere else in terms of infrastructure uh, on the continent. So I think it's quite an amazing thing for an artist from South Africa today to know that they have strong institution that they can belong to. They don't have to go to the Tate anymore, you know, they can belong to the Zeitz collection. But artist Arti Patraruga believes there's still more work to be done. Now we need to start building more museums. We need the black middle class coming into this system that is somehow enriching some and not others. Even in difficult economic times for South Africa, the arts infrastructure already in place is helping stimulate a strong arts market. And with global recognition on the rise, the country's arts scene seems to be going from strength to strength. Natalie Powell, London.